Hello everyone, welcome to Bella's Big Adventures. It's that time of year, cold, dark and often damp, the festive season behind us, when we start to dream of the holidays to come. If you're anything like me, you'll be wishing away the days until your next big adventure, trawling through videos, podcasts and magazines, wondering where to go this year. So I thought I'd share a few of our top five favourite campsites in Europe, which coincidentally all turned out to be in Austria. Austria has a myriad of fabulous places to visit, so whether you're passing through or on a grand tour of Europe, one or more of these may be of interest to you. At number five, we have one that we've been to on more than one occasion, both in the early spring and summertime. It's Camping Au on Danau. As you can see from this footage, it looks very different between the seasons, but all the facilities were open, modern, and the staff were very welcoming. I'll put links in the description to all of the campsites and the videos that we've made of them in the past. In the spring, the trees were covered in cherry blossom and the grounds full of bulbs in full flower. And on our return in summer, it was lush and green. It's worth a visit at any time. The site is open between May, sometimes April if the weather's really good, and September. It is approximately half an hour's drive from Linz or two hours from Vienna. There are 50 touring pitches with electricity measuring between 65 to 180 square metres. We will be looking at airs in Europe and campsites in the UK too soon, so be sure to subscribe and tune in for those later on. We've got washing up outside but covered. Just going to have a quick look, I don't think there's anybody in there. The toilet block was clean and bright with lots of space and hot water. It's only a few kilometres from the main road and costs between 64 euros for a two night stay in May to 86 euros in the peak season for up to six people on a pitch, which allows dogs to for free. Mele washers and dryers. And then you've got your recycling and the waste service point here and some water there. And there are little cabins on the lakes that you can rent. Sun shining. Birds are singing, flowers are out, lovely. There are the usual facilities like information huts with maps and things to see and do. There's also a dedicated tent area with power, shower blocks and picnic tables. There is a fabulous large play area for the children with plenty of swings, slides etc. There's beach volleyball and there's a jetty with a ladder to allow swimming in the fabulous lake. There is a fabulous cafe on site serving some great food they can also host live entertainment on their dedicated stage. The cafe overlooks the yacht club and the Danube with the Austrian Alps in the background. And we're going to go for a walk down by the Danube today, aren't we, Bells? There are over 500 kilometres of cycle paths available and walks along the Danube direct from the site. You can hire cycles from the site too if you haven't bought your own. Doug's opting for the shady route this time. At number four, we have Terrace and Camping in Trazen in Lower Austria. This campsite is one of those places you instantly relax. It's hard to put a finger on why, as it's a relatively simple site with great views and basic amenities, but as you can see, and as its name suggests, it's on a hill, so the site is terraced, giving each row a clear view as you park sideways to the paths and look above the row in front. And we found a little parking spot, and we've got quite a lovely view of the of the mountains and the town down below. They are grass pitches with electric hookup. It's open from the 1st of March to the 1st of October. There is a check-in reception with a small shop, a snack bar, children's play area with climbing frames, toilet and shower blocks and seating all wrapped round the centrally placed pool, which is very shallow at one end so that children can stand easily. There's a small indoor dining area for the tent campers, which doubles up as an ordering point for fresh bread and cakes. There are also the usual bins, chemical waste and fresh water facilities. There are also some walker huts to rent. The huts start at £20 a night for two people. Just outside the entrance you'll find the motorhome service point and playing field perfect for a quick kickabout.
there are also plenty of paths to set off on a hike, either into the countryside or a short stroll into the town where you'll find plenty of shops and provisions. Austria has some amazing forests and beautifully mown meadow areas perfect for adults, kids and dogs to stretch their legs. Just opposite the entrance you'll also find a fabulous herb garden with bug hotels and seating so that you can just relax and watch the wildlife if that's what you want to do. It costs between €29.50 Euros in low season and €35.50 Euros in peak season and that includes two adults, a caravan and car or motorhome. It's open March to September and is approximately a 45 minute car journey to Vienna. At number three, we have Camp Monsieland. We've only visited this site once, but it was so memorable we'll definitely be returning. Even though it rained for the majority of our stay, that's quite common for us to be fair. We stayed on a premium pitch, which is between 100 and 120 square metres and has fresh water, grey waste and 16 amp electricity supply from a service tower on the subdivided pitches. The price includes two adults and one motorhome or caravan and car, but dogs, awnings and additional people incur an additional cost. But as you can see from the map, there are 200 pitches available, plus some cabins for rent. There are also comfort pitches and basic and tent pitches available. Prices start from €26.50 Euros per night, rising to €50 Euros in peak season. The campsite is located in some of Austria's most beautiful countryside, nestled in lush green meadows and forests in the middle of a particularly tranquil area. It has amazing views of the surrounding hills and mountains, as you can see. There are cycle paths and hiking paths directly from the campsite, which are clearly signposted, and it's a relatively flat, easy walk to Monzi, which is approximately five kilometres away. There you'll find not only a beautiful lake, but plenty of restaurants and activities to keep you entertained. Assuming you can drag yourself away from the on-site facilities with the fabulous toilet and shower blocks, including a bookable personal bathroom. Around here we've got recycling, toilet waste, dog wash, very handy. And then you've got a washing up area. Laundry with washing machines and dryers, it's four euros for both. There's a kitchen area with an oven, hob, microwave. There's also a traditional restaurant with outdoor terrace and a well-stocked shop in reception, which includes fresh bread and pastries. From there, you'll find a covered heated outdoor pool and sun terrace complete with lounges. There's also a pool table and large children's playground to keep children entertained of all ages. At number two, we have the Danau Park camping in Tulln. This one took us by surprise, to be honest. It's in a fabulous location, very green and peaceful, with lots to do for old and young alike. The campsite is laid out in circles of 15 pitches with a central water supply, but it also has some cabins and a tent meadow. The toilet blocks are pristine and there's a large children's playground and three paddle courts with racket rental. There's bike hire too, but most impressive is there's free access to Lake Albad, which is located next door. It's included in the campsite fee too. This is a large recreational area with swimming lake with lots of water-based activities, including boat hire and a kids inflatable area. The campsite has a fabulous restaurant where we had the most amazing meal. As you can see, there's a lovely terrace. You can get breakfast and lunch. The ribs were to die for with a fabulous pulled pork burger too. If none of that appeals, there is a, a flat, pretty walk into town, which is famous for its gardens and fountains. The public spaces have been lovingly developed into beautiful gardens with lots of seating and entertainment areas on the banks of the Danube, including this floating stage.
once you've exhausted Tulln and its surrounding architecture, fountains, parks and restaurants, there's a shuttle bus directly from the site on Thursdays for €18 Euros per adult and €12 Euros for children that goes into Vienna, which is only a 27 minute drive away. At number one is the amazing Barrow and Wolfgangsee. Thinking about how to justify your favourite campsite is an interesting exercise because explaining to someone else the reasons why one appeals more than another is often not as simple as it has fabulous facilities, which of course it does, or amazing food, or it's convenient for visiting towns and activities. Some places just feel special. Barrow has everything you need for a fabulous holiday, whether you're a family with young kids or a couple with or without pets. There is something for everyone. <laughs> you're being nuts, you are. We have only ever visited in the colder months, so really haven't swum in the lake or gone kayaking, and yet it was still perfect for us. There's a map at the side. We're on pitch three, which is right on the waterfront. It is quite a large site. Wolfgangsee town is easily walkable from the site and it's a beautiful, traditional looking Austrian town with fabulous architecture, cafes, shops and restaurants. Alternatively, you can walk around the lake and just marvel at the breathtaking scenery. In the warmer months, you could take out a boat or go swimming in the lake too, of course. But just look at this scenery and tell me you wouldn't love to sit with a drink, be it hot or cold, and just marvel at the nature. That is beautiful. It's a stunning view, I'll give you that. Yes, I can thoroughly recommend this. It is sunny and warm and beautiful place to sit. I will of course leave links to the sites and our videos if you haven't already seen them and please tell me which appeals most to you. Bye for now, thanks for watching, see you next time.